Hello and welcome back everyone. Thank you to the super patrons, Mazabazo and Brady Burns, as well as the regular patron of Bellowash. I hope you're all doing fantastic. In the last episode, at the end, we died, uh, which is the first time we've ever died in this series so far. And in this one, uh, we are probably... Oh, look at that beautiful... Like, look how cool that is. It's so beautiful. Um, in this episode, we are probably... Uh, just gonna say fuck it. Uh, and we're just gonna go for... Uh, whatever we want, really. So we'll go for this. We kind of want if we want a Vade Extender for sure. Uh, we'll grab this then. This is such a weird mismatch. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just uh, we'll just run with full Anjanath gear. So in the previous episode, yeah, we got uh, a bit beaten up by uh, Zenoga being Zenoga and requiring you to have three uh, stun resistance gems at all times. Oh, <sighs> what a bastard. Um, however, uh, Dream Shell time. Uh, I did have a look see around. Uh, after I hit the stop record button. Uh, and we finally have gotten one of these, uh, which is awesome. Because uh, it means that we can now take all, uh, and then we can do speedy, bar uh, speedy bargains on all of them. We really have no login apples at the moment, that's crazy. Where have they all gone? What have we been using them on? Everything? Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I guess the training uh, probably has been not helping either. However, we are now going to take out some more monsters. A special quest has been added. Thank you. Yeah, so the one we died on test of courage such an annoyance. Uh, I think we'll go with Twisted Desire. I really like this monster. Uh, and then we'll go for Tigrex. Um, yeah. That's basically it. Uh, Moxie, for this one we just need resistance. Um, so for this one... Probably Feet, because there might be Tremor shit. Okay. Awesome, everything activated. Uh, I will see you when we get into the game. Those horns are so cool. Fit for a name like Diablos, for sure. With a twisted shape, I'd love to get some hands on one and st craft my store sign from it. It would do wonders for your business. So Diablos is the best one still. The wide plains of the desert a heated battleground. Suddenly, a rumbling, a world-shattering sound. Twin horns split the sand below, no longer earthbound. For this is the true ruler of this dry dystopia. Trespasser shall be punished. Protect thy cornucopia. So fucking sick. Easily my favorite monster in this game. I think, like, it's just, it's so cool. Uh, and I think that's just the entire thing. There's nothing about this monster that is not cool. Uh, and that's just amazing that there's a, a, a monster like that. Uh, where's the sniff? Um... Sand rose. Okay, so we're now sniffing for two different things. 
So I might actually go back and we no longer need this. Um, hmm, hmm, I see, I see. Well, we'll get to the place where we're on the ground and we'll go up here. Okay. So Diablos is very... I haven't fought him in a very long time, so I'll probably be very rusty. Uh, we can't do that. Uh, but he, uh, he, visually and everything, he's just fantastic. Uh, easily S tier in design. Uh, I wonder what game he's from. That's the cool thing about Monster Hunter Rise and all of that stuff, is it makes you think about like, oh, when did this monster get introduced? Uh, which is which is like really fucking good. Wait, why didn't we get side quests, requests, economic situation, rock roses? Wasn't that not a rock rose? That was a sand rose. So that's probably a rock rose. So it's probably the same thing. It's just way harder to get or something. That is uh, what I am understanding from the situation. Double rise up. But uh, it is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of monsters in this game. Uh, even when it was just rise, even when it was just rise, uh, they have that badassery factor to them. Uh, but a lot of them are exclusive to high rank. Uh, like, stuff like Rachna Kadaki, in my opinion, is really cool. Um, bosses. There's like a few of them. But it feels like a lot of the time it's like, oh, well, if, if it's a really big monster, like. I guess it's just because, you know, Tigrex. You know, things like Tigrex and stuff, they've probably been in the game since, like, DOS or Try or something. So they've probably been in the game since the PS2 era, I'm presuming. Um, I did not even know that there was an area here. Unbelievable. There we go. We got a rock rose. That is insane to me that in this game like I guess I get I guess I just haven't explored this area enough uh, we want to though definitely uh, be trying to make sure that we get everything Fucking that is a phenomenal thumbnail. You do what I say now. Yep. It is very annoying uh, when they stun multiple monsters and you have to kind of sit there like an idiot. Now, it's probably better to hit the tail, but I just want to fucking smash those horns. So fearsome. Also, I don't think it's in this version of it. I think there's like Rampage Diablos. I guess I should say like Rampage Diablos is my favorite absolute thing ever. Um... It is just, to me personally, the sick, like, you know, it's like black and brown. It feels like, you know, just a thing that's been you know, in the desert for centuries. Uh, like that black mist that comes out of his fucking mouth is the sickest fucking thing in existence to me when it comes to the design of this monster. The fact its tail is just a fucking wrecking ball, pretty much. Uh, but also, you know, 
perfectly goes into his visual design of having the two horns uh, is awesome. The fact that he's like uh, the culmination of, we haven't seen him yet, but Duotodus, uh, a Muldron Duotodus kind of uh, jumping out of the ground, uh, bow off. Uh, like Bowoth attacks where you know he does the charge and stuff uh, and then also blending that with uh, a Bowoth style uh, monster uh, he doesn't have the hands obviously because he's still a ground wyvern are you really that exhausted already? okay so he's leaving now um but like yeah Absolutely one of my favorite monsters. I need to grab you. Let's go. There you go. Protective polish is Oh, protective polish would easily be good on great so uh on uh protect. I'm gonna get you There you go, that's a big hit. I'm happy that I was able to aim that. We're getting the hurt on. This is probably the reason why for a while they had it be nerfed. Um, so he couldn't. Uh, basically if you don't know, uh, they nerfed something or other. I can't actually remember precisely what was. See what I mean there? Like, that time there, I could actually aim it. But the way I had to aim it was, uh, I had to, like, figure out uh, the place in which it was, uh, doing the shit. You got it. Well, we've broken part of his horn, which is good. His switch axe, by the way, is one of my favorite. It's uh, like high rank wise. Uh, it has like a bit of negative affinity, but like it does exhaust damage, and it's, it's like so useful for that weapon, especially when like I was a bit more newbie and I would just uh, zero, not zero sum, but like you know do the exhaust attack like five times. Oh, look at all of that. So shell, ridge, ridge, shell, marrow, marrow. Shell Ridge, Monster Bones, Tail Case, Fang Ridge, Ridge, Ridge. Nothing, it seems like nothing too crazy, but still good stuff. Okay, we are now back. Let us have a look at the Diablos. There it is. Weirdly normal. So Twisted Horn is, I think, a special drop. I think you may have to break both of its horns. Uh, but you can still get it otherwise. But, like, definitely a DOS. Definitely a DOS kind of weapon. If it has that, like, generic -y feel to it. Uh, however, the sheer awesomeness of this armor set cannot be understated. Actual hands. The male version's a bit better though. So guard, stamina surge, and offensive guard. 
feels like it works well. So he's weak to ice, so I did uh, metagame him a bit. Uh, I did choose correctly. Uh, this one's weak to thunder, which is the same as uh, the We already knew that one. Um, but Kezu, we can now actually upgrade that. Um, so Kezu's now done. Uh, so now it's Tigrex. Uh, I still don't know which one that would have to be. Uh, or the Puke Puke for that matter. Uh, this one. And we can actually fo uh, forge this one now. Uh, we do need one more bubble foam apparently, but that usually drops pretty easily. Um, so we can get that at some point later anyway. Uh, and I think there's a quest where we have to kill um, uh, one of those anyway. So we still need the Magnamala plate, but there's like two more things for that one. So, this weapon though, we're doing the upgrade, thankfully, not the forge. Uh, only requires one Twisted Horn. Take good care of your gear. Uh, and that's all we need from it in general. Special quest as well. Um, so yeah. We're just going to keep doing that quest. Because uh, at the end of the day, Forge All Great Swords, we take that name very literally. And although, yes, we do want to finish all the quests as well, uh, finishing all of them obviously comes first. So, feed again. Uh, it doesn't matter if we get it or not, but like if we do, it kind of just helps a bit. Okay. We got Defender, that's still good. Enough of that. Okie dokie, let's get into it. We're gonna fight him again. Uh, we also want to get those rock roses as much as we can. And there's a Tigrex. That's like the one thing we want to see. <sighs> Monster Hunter, there's nothing greater. Other than maybe you know, a bunch of different things. But that's further from the point. The main point is that I absolutely adore this game. I would love to play um, the older versions of this game. Uh, I don't know if I would use Greatsword in every single one of them. Uh, because this version of Greatsword is probably the only version of Greatsword that I like. Uh, because Valor Greatsword is still really cool, but the problem with Greatsword that there is, in my eyes, is the fact that Greatsword kind of just turns into a losing kind of thing. I'd love to see it. Oh, kind of just left, huh? You want to fight, bud? I'm so happy we got that ridiculously good, um, start. Clean. Uh. Damn it. Honestly, like, I might, like, I feel like the cool thing about this is I don't like to do meta builds as much as I like to make sure that my playstyle of Oonga Boonga uh, gets to play the game. So like, punishing draw is 100% gonna be there. Stun power. Like, it's gonna be a weird mishmash of a bunch of skills that essentially all boil down to can always hit. Oh, that was a nice one. Thanks for that hit. Yeah, I, I thought to release that early, but it still didn't really work out. That might have not worked out too well, but that was still really fucking cool. Like, that's the beginning of, like, a fantastic, like, play. This, by the way, is one of the sickest shits. I thought we were going to do something else. I 
I thought it was gonna erupt out of the ground with this twin horns that he likes to do. And I was like, it's doing the thing. So for this one, we'll simply try uh, to slam him into the Tigrex uh, because that is the best for us right now. Um, because we only need like certain parts of Tigrex. So we may as well just, you know, Uh, and then we'll launch into him. Wide, uh, good old Tigrex. Uh, and then we'll just go into him. Like fucking crazy person. Diablo's part. Oh, we hit both parts. We've hit both the horns. So that means we have probably the highest chance to get that, uh, twisted bone that we see. Uh, twisted horn. Uh, and we're gonna go for carbs this time as well. Because it seemed like last time uh, it might have been that we needed to get carbs. Yeah, it's a tiger's claw. I think it's claws we need, right? Shell. What can we get a dash S right? Ah, I thought you were going to go after the cool little coup. It's so funny that that cool little coup is the strongest cool little coup in the world. Literally actually hit Diablos. Uh, unironically, if Diablos could have been ridden, uh, he would have forced him to kneel in front of him. Uh, which is hilarious to think about. I, I really am starting to feel like Kula Laku is just the Jar Jar of Monster Hunter. How do you like that? Let's heal up a bit. Ooh, so it blew. That's the sweet spot. There it is. There's the move. Who here thought that, that was gonna land? Can we get the uh, twisted, uh, twisted uh, horn that we need? Shell. Fang. Rich. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll have a look see though. So Diablos is weak to ice and dragon. Paralysis is something that actually hurts him. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so he does give dash randomly. Uh, so there's marrow. Okay, so it's a 100% bro broken parts reward. I think if you break, you have to physically break both of them. So I think if you break both of them, you then get the twisted horn, which I think is a kind of cool way to do it. Considering he does have two horns. Uh, and I do like how it's an 100% thing. 
Heading home. That just feels like a good idea in general. We kind of look like Monica. Twisted horn. There we go. Okay, so that means we're now done the Diablos really quickly. Okay, okay. Hey. We got the twisted horn. I do like how it's like you only can get the twist twisted horn by like you know. That makes it cooler, in my opinion. Right. Let's, get let's have a look see what this weapon looks like. Also, let's have a look see if we can make too much armor of it. Um, we would need two twisted horns for that piece, which is probably a no. Um, but other than that, it, it would be like a lot of, a lot of fighting in my opinion. So, yet again, the main things we need are this Magna Malu plate. Whatever these two need. Fangs. It's fangs that we need. Tigrex. And then we're done. Wow. We're probably going to be doing Tigrex in this episode. So, that, oh, that actually does. That actually looks really cool. It doesn't work on this weapon because it looks like it has a mustache now or a beard. But that is, it's like a jousting sword. So fucking big. That's so cool. I like how they're able to display bluntness by having lower affinity. That's right, it's this guy who said that the things are ready. More cute jelly. All the cute jelly we needed, awesome. Um, sure. We'll go and send them off, we may as well. Cute jelly though, can we make an armor set of that? But um, yeah, the cool thing is, is like we can obviously, and we probably will, well, we've been using the Bowie off uh, weapon the entire time, so it's like we're just using the same thing. But like, like look at like the entire inventory. Like it feels so cool to have all of these like great swords here. Um, yeah, it does. It feels really special. Um, okay. Yeah. A special quest has been so, added. Tigrex is the next one that we'll do. Good luck. Uh, and the final video we get at this point as well, uh, kind of interestingly. Um, so, we only need fangs, which is pretty nice. I've been, waiting for you. been waiting for you. She like pulls out a gun. We'll have a look-see uh, before we go off, uh, and then I'll see what exactly we need. It's really fucking sick, though, that we're pretty much essentially done uh, what we need. Their sensitive ears make them susceptible to sonic bombs. I do like this, though. They are herbivores. That's, like, my absolute, absolutely favorite thing about Diablos is that they're herbivores. Like, what part of them looks like herbivores, but then it's like, oh. Uh, at some point, I am going to take a picture of every single monster. I think we'll do that as a special. Uh, and we'll have that be like a different episode. Or, you know, maybe we'll do it like starting now. We'll like take photos of all the monsters. Um... So it was Tigrex that we wanted to think about. So thun oh it's Thunder that's good against him. Yeah, so Thunder. So we'll switch to Thunder. We only need the Fangs, and Fangs are good only in capturing. So that is very good to know. Um so we'll bring out that. 
Yeah, and I'll see. Uh, wait, no, we'll switch to uh, Zenoga Blade. We'll switch to Kezu Blade, unironically. That's kind of funny that we're switching to Kezu Blade, but it actually works. It's not every day that you actually pull out the fucking Kezu Blade. But yeah, I'll see you after this load screen. A deafening roar, rolling over hill and dale. The weak flee in fear, but the strong prevail. So chunky. On the Easily a boss monster. White is drenched with red. When the ancient tyrant hunts, all are filled with dread. Oh, I like how he's kind of given the absolute power. He might even be. Is there like a G rank expansion to Monster Hunter 1? Because if there is, because there was a Outbreak in Outbreak File 2. Um. So there could be something similar uh, with Tigrex. I like how tinged meat is a thing. There you are, Tigrex is on this side. I looked and I saw the uh, Barrioth and I was like, ooh, Barrioth! That's the thing we need to kill. Hey, I fucking hate that bastard. And I was like, wait a minute. Uh, if we can actually get the Tigrex sword in this episode, like, I'm actually so proud. Pardon me. Because if that is the case, then like, we, like, you know, it's just the Magnamalo sword at that point that we need. Um, because, you know, dream scales you can still get in high rank. Um, thankfully. Um, so you, you can still get those, uh, and that's like the only other thing other than the smithy, I guess. Um, so I guess, you know, in the next episode, like, we can get that from drops as well, <coughs> if I'm not wrong. Um, so it's not even like we need to full send it in a way. We we'll use the, fa uh, uh, Falvine here, just so then we kind of have that, uh, momentum in a, in a sense built up already. It's interesting that uh, electricity is his weakness. We already knew that that was happening. Satisfaction of hitting monsters. I really hope the thumbnail draws a lot of people into this one, because I'm having a hell of a fun time. Uh, and double Tigrex, Rathalos, uh, like there's gonna be a good, like he's gonna do the other, oh fuck, he's ready to have, he's ready to, he's ready to go. Thankfully he will just out of his range a bit there. I think if two charges all we're gonna get away with there. Yeah, because then we get hit. So if we went for a three charge, we would have just gotten hit in the middle of it. Intermediary. Okay. So he's gonna charge over there and he's gonna charge back. And then he might charge a third time. Okay, so he's only charging twice at the moment. That's good to know. Spinny boy. Damn. We could have aimed at- I was like- I was like, oh my god, did I actually do that right? But then no. Okay, so we kind of hit him there. Okay. That was that one that one there was uh, unintentional. I just wanted to do that into that and I uh, uh, hit the final one. Ooh, that's really good for us. Okay. We need to back up a bit. The good thing about Greatsword is it's like, when you have a monster like Tigrex, uh, who's kind of in a way a way better, like a su especially if you're able to get a 
soundproof maxed out. Uh, he really is kind of the perfect uh, great sword monster because he has slow enough, like he has moments where you have to dodge and be agile, but then he has a lot of moments where it's more focused on a big target and you stunning him and hitting him and just, you know, all that shit. So obviously, like, you know, our long sword's way better, 100%. Yes, however, it means that, you know, Great Sword can also have its own little niche as well. Uh, which I'm really happy about. Okay, so it's not in its rage mode yet, so at most it can do two of those things. Um, I think a one. Is, yeah, okay, we weren't even going to get it in the first place, so going for one was good there. Fucking bitch slap everything out of the way. Okay, so that means that the next thing he does is going to be a healing spell with the hunting horn. Um, I'm going to be a bit gutsy. Okay, well it didn't matter anyway, but like it would, it could have been. If you're in front of it, it seems like that uh, does a whole lot more. Okay, that's actually kind of good. Uh, it isn't as weak to ice, but it still has a bit of an ice weakness. Hey, barrier. Bye, barrier. I, it has to be Gen 2 that these monsters come from. Because these monsters here are literally like the same. Except for one of them is like... I would say the barrier off is probably a bit easier just like in mechanics wise um okay. um yeah we'll just do it now because like you know Tigrex roaring and like forcing you to be behind it all the time really angry. However, he should be more than half dead. He's even panting a bit, which doesn't mean he slows down much. It just means that, you know, when he stops, he stops for like probably a charge longer. Vertical hitboxes. Holy vertical hitboxes, Batman! Okay, thank God, he only went for the one. Good job. Awesome. Ah! I forgot the monsters could be existing. Okay, so now we kind of don't need to worry about hitting it as much. Because now the main thing about it is that we want to capture it for the fangs. That's my buddy. Okay, there we go. Okay. We can probably do this quest three more times if we need to in this episode. But like, yeah, there we go. We'll uh, have a little bit of a uh, sharpen. But like, yeah, Kezu Blade actually seeing use. Uh, that's really cool. We only got that, like, you know, last, this or last episode, probably last episode. So the fact that, you know, that is coming into play now, like, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in my opinion. 
I really like this episode so far, even just like recording it wise, it, it feels really fun. Uh, so we've got one fang. That's a claw. Really? Only one f Oh no, we've got uh, two fangs. We've got two fangs. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we didn't take the L on that one. That was only eight minutes. That's crazy. Okie dokie. We are now getting back into it. So I do think that the Tigrex Fang, uh, we only have two of those, I believe. Yeah, we only have two of those. So we do need another two, but that is fine at the end of it. But is that seriously the end of it, other than I don't even know why these aren't showing up? Um, it seems like it. And obviously Magna Marlo as well. So Golden Muck is something that we will need to grab. Some Let's have a look-see actually. See you later. Uh, we'll have a look, because I don't want to look at the internet all the time for everything. So we already have all of those ones done. So Tigrix has two materials, but I doubt they would be used for that. Zenoga has two. One of them is for target rewards and is kind of lower. And that's the bugs that you get. Uh, but it's also a dropped material. And then the other one is his plate, which we don't really care about. So as you can see here, 30% dropped material, that's the muck uh, that you're usually getting. Uh, then there's the plate, and then that final thing is like something. Uh, Rathalos, we have everything. Mitsune has a plate, but we don't. that wouldn't be it. Uh, Magnamalo has a plate, and then apparently something else. That's a really high broken part reward. Toby Kadachi is good. Rathian has a plate. Vesarius has like a plu uh something that's not Pluel, but something similar. Um Yeah, I really wonder what this like singular thing is that I'm apparently like not just grabbing. Um, that would be used, maybe it's Light Crystal, actually, because I don't think we have really bothered too much on getting that. Let us begin. Oh, it's always sad, uh, like, Toxic Komori, cool, but, like, it's always sad when you don't see, um, you know, the one thing, like, we want the Dream Scales, obviously. Okay. But we'll now do the Rathalos. Uh, we'll do the Rathalos fight now. As well as grab all of these three. Which quest would you like? Yeah, so we'll do the Bane of the Sky, uh, King of the Sky, Bane of the Land quest. Uh, and then we might uh, do these two as well. Nah, we'll save that for the next episode, where we're gonna do, like, try to do the test of courage. So then there's some, like, things beforehand. But then, uh, and then we get one more quest after that. Uh, what are we fighting? What are we fighting? We're fighting a Rathalos and we're fighting a, uh, thing that's physical. Okay. Had to remember with my brain. That, as always, is uh, on no sleep and 2 a.m. I just watched an entire challenge run. Um, okay. Ha. <sighs> I was watching uh, a video, I remember a video right now, uh, and it's a video uh, made by Bizmix, uh, who's a really funny person who I really like and recommend watching, especially if you like Fire Emblem content. Uh, he's, he's really, he makes really good funny content on that. But um, the main reason I'm bringing this up is he did make a video on Monster Hunter called Monster Hunter Then and Now, 
uh, which is just a skit uh, where it's more, it's really comedy where it's like, you know, back in the day, for instance, and then he's like, okay, so what we're going to do is we're all, we all have our you know, full set of armor, we're battling this boss, uh, so when we go in, it's like a very complicated plan where it's like, I go in, I buff, you hunting horn, you get your buffs, we'll all use our, uh, we will then all use our buffs, we'll go in, long sword first to count him, knock him down, and then we'll go and uh, deal a big amount of damage, and then from there we'll regroup and do that again. And it's like this really big, overdramatic, uh, just, you know, plan. Uh, and it's like, and then it's like, you know, and then it's like the, and then now, kind of thing. Uh, where it's like, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm not really prepared for this fight. Like, you know, I'm not going to change my armor set. I think I'll just be fine. Uh, and then, you know, you play it and you enjoy it. Uh, and it really does m make me think about it, like, in a w weird way where I think about that. And I'm like, fuck off. Right, no. But uh, I think about that and I'm like, is that what people want? Is that like the world that Monster Hunter fans want? Where it's like only the literal 1% can play the game? I do like the I, I do like the risk reward that Wirebugs naturally have of when you use them too much, uh, like what just happened there. Um Like when you do it like that, where you just do it too much, uh, you just get stunned. Like just you get stunned. Look out. It's angry. Okay, I remember when I said if I was Rathalos, I would just spam that move. That doesn't mean go do that. It's gonna be so weird not having that. Thank you, Rathalos. That's actually like kind of good for us. The annoying thing is, is we do have to just kill Rathalos here. Oh. Boom. If that was Rathian, I would have been in trouble though. But it's a Rathalos, so I'm in less trouble. Oh! Yeah, uh, oh. Jesus, that move. I'm gonna have to go down here for a bit. I think he'll get this uh, fire off me as well. Okay, he's leaving, so that's kind of good for us in a way. But yeah, like it's interesting to me how I don't meet people per se. You know, there are a few people actually. There are a few people, but usually the people who I meet who are Monster Hunter fans either were part of the fifth generation or aren't overtly a p annoying piece of shit person where it's like, well, back in my day, the world was Monster Hunter and the Hunter of the World. And it's just like, you know, we all know those people who are like Squidwardy uh, to an unfath, like, not Squidward, Squillium. We all know those Squilliams in the world. Because everyone's a bit Squidward, but like Squilliam is like the obvious, like you know, going too far with your annoyances. Of like you know, you're obviously like not even just going out of your way to annoy people, but like it's worse when it's like you don't even realize that you're like. I keep thinking of the PK PK. Uh, whenever I get hit by that, I'm just like, oh wait, but well, I can just like, you know, tank the poison hit. Because it just does ailment. But no, that's not how that works. Weirdly enough, I feel like these quests, they've jacked them up a little bit. Like, it just feels like the AI is just slightly better. Where like, they're more so going for you, they're not focusing on the other people as much. They're going for their better attacks far more often. That was weird. This must be a way bigger Rathalos. 
There we go. We get one big. That was our big attack. Okay. Um, I guess at this point, it's the, my mentality of, at this point we may as well just go back to the, um, we may as well just go to the Anjanath, and have the Anjanath beat the absolute little fucker out of that monster. I, I, I really feel like, uh, I might like, you know, during Christmas or whatever, uh, go check out when these monsters came out. Yeah, and it's like we're doing less damage as well. Because I remember before we were. Oh, it might just be because our weapon. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we just wanted to deal a bunch load of damage. Okay. So, the good thing about uh, about all of this so far is we haven't fainted once yet. But it's interesting, right, how... Uh, how different fights can go. Where before, we went, like, with, it's just like, I guess Zenoga is just a much bigger threat than Arathalos is, which makes sense. But, like, it's kind of sad. But it might just be because of the way I play, uh, where, you know, Zenoga heavily punishes, I guess, uh, a more get-in-there kind of mentality, whilst as Rathalos is kind of more accepting of that uh, kind of thing. Awesome. That was a nice way to finish that part of the hunt. Um, so we want to whetstone, we want to capture the Tigrex. What okay. have we here? So we've got scan none of these technically matter. Um, there's the webbing we needed earlier that I grabbed already. So tinged meat uh, presumably is really good. If logic is kind of anything to go by. We'll refill our uh, things first. We'll refill in here. Go outside. I dare all of you. I like how the bottom of the sword looks like his tail. I think that's a nice little attention to detail. It looks like a tail. That's really good detail. Oh my god, I realize that, that that's like a very big Bon Jovi vine. Okay. Oh. And he wanted to move away anyway, that's fine. Let's go. Yeah, I'm really enjoying my... Uh, like this playthrough, honestly. I was gonna say, I'm really enjoying the challenge run I'm doing, but like, I haven't done it in a while. And by while, I mean like two days. That's my, that's my definition of a while, by the way. Okay, that's still a good amount of, uh... Like, I really wonder, like... I wonder if... 
they made a monster hunter, like a mod of monster hunter, where all the all the weapons were different. Like it was a Kaizo monster hunter. Um, and like, let's say like a Great Azuchi kind of thing is as hard as you know Rampage Rathalos for the first time is with like you know negative 25 resistance or something. Where it's like, you know, and long like long sword for instance counters don't like even work really. Uh and it's like complete hit and run and it's like you can't do anything. If like the people who always complain uh who are the loudest when uh subjects are brought up. Uh if they would still be the loudest. Boom. 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 That was honestly a bad move by Yorn. And if we had the other slash, we would have done maybe 150 damage there. Um, we want to go this way around. Oh, actually, we're probably unable to hit into him currently, so we're probably gonna have to hit into this. Uh, which does infect him with Water Blight. Which, interestingly, I wonder if that actually affects lightning damage at all. You cunt! I was gonna do the cool thing, and then you said no. And I respect your decision, but I want an apology still. It doesn't have to be written. Just a simple sorry for ruining your cool play that you're gonna do. All I want. I don't think you can stun him. Anti hammer. That'd be very interesting. That would be really cool though, if, like in a way, like some different monsters. That would be like more of a just a unique uh, monster kind of thing. There you go. Tigrex now hunted. We've captured him. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, get two fangs and then be able to craft uh, the next piece that we want. We then need to fight a great Azuchi, uh, finish those two other quests off, and then as well, we then need to do the uh, Zenoga fight. And then after we do that, there should be another fight we can do, but then we can go into high rank. Two fangs, that's incredible. Tail as well, commendation, that's good. Uh, so that was a claw, so that, that didn't even matter. So this really did matter, getting the two fangs here. Um, and then, yeah, that's really good. I'm really happy about that. So, let's get to the crafting. Okie dokie. So we are now back here. We will put in our subquests and grab Special all of the good stuff. Ooh, an immu uh, immunizer, whatever that's called. Take care of yourself. Okay, so we will now go and forge that weapon. It's green, baby. No problem. Okay. We will need to make one more scalp. Uh, get two more scalps later. Um, but that's for future, uh, and sometimes as well they actually allow you to craft from high rank. Um, maybe not for that weapon, but you know, there's the possibility. So these two, still, I don't understand what they require. Uh, in between episodes, I might have a look and see what I'm missing. Um, but other than that, the final nail 
that we need to hit is the Magnamalo plate. And then we have officially, for this part, um, I guess, you know, um, technically, you know, you know, for, you know, some part, we will basically have all of pre hard, high rank finished. I was about to say hard mode, like today. But with that, I hope you uh, enjoyed the episode as much as I did, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.